Hello and welcome to today's video. This is a not so fun one. <laughs> this is my very last 2022 kind of like reading wrap up statistics, like numbers, uh, book tour thing. These are all the books I DNF'd in 2022. There's not many of them. There's four books I'm going to talk about today. I have just changed my jumper. I just finished filming uh, my best books of the year video so I will link that up above. That's going to be a bit more of a fun time. It's probably going to be a bit of a downer this one but I can't even talk that much. It's going to be a quick easy video. It's going to be so like streamlined because I didn't finish any of these. I can't really tell you anything about them. I can only really tell you what the book was and why I put it down so that's what we're going to do today. I have already got rid of all these books. Any books that I don't enjoy I do just donate them. There's a lot of free little libraries and like book exchanges near me so I normally just put them in there and hope that someone else will enjoy them. So yeah there's four books to talk about, four books that I DNF'd in 2022. Let's just let's just get on with it, let's just talk about them. So the first book that I DNF'd in 2022 was Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen and I even had found like the cool like movie tie-in cover, Lindsay Lohan on the front and I went into this with like all right hopes. It just wasn't it honestly, it just wasn't. I, I didn't like it. The, the writing was very immature and it was YA so like I went into it not expecting it to read adult but you know our main character I think was about 16 and was reading like a 10 year old. There were so many like name drops and like designer drops and things like that. I, I, honestly I think I put it down at about 20 pages. I really didn't give it much of a chance because of how infuriating I was finding it. It was just name drop after name drop after name drop. I'm sure it wasn't that bad but that's how I remember it. Like it was a lot. So yeah I really didn't enjoy it. I didn't give it much of a chance. I only got 20 pages in and didn't really even get into the story. But from those 20 pages alone I was like I loved this movie when I was younger. I did not need to read the book of this. If this is the book, maybe I shouldn't even bother rewatching the movie. And that is how it made me feel. So I DNF'd it. I left it there. Left it about 20 pages in and call it a day. I, I didn't need to read it. I wasn't going to enjoy it. There was nothing that I liked about it from the first 20 pages. So I put it down. Then the second book that I DNF'd in 2022 was a book called Hold. This I gave more of a chance. I listened to the book for about 45 minutes and I had the physical book but I also had found the audio book for it because I'd given the physical book a go already but not got far in. The writing was very chunky, it was very over the top. I, I listened for 45 minutes in the end, probably a bit more but I, I don't remember exactly um, and I feel like I'd got quite a chunk in. Like when I was moving my bookmark to be where I was like audibly listening to it, it was quite far in and nothing had happened. I, d I don't read a lot of contemporary as it is and this was a very contemporary story and I was bored. Honestly I, I, I was bored and nothing was happening and I just couldn't be asked with it. Because I don't read a lot of contemporary when I do pick one up I'm really picky with it because if I'm going to pick up a contemporary book for instance like there's a contemporary here. Is it just one? Okay yes yeah, so only one contemporary made the best books of the year this but a contemporary made that list and I want the contemporary to feel like one of the best books I'm reading and this one didn't it wasn't for me I don't think it was bad I just think it was a very slow book and if you enjoy slow books with not a lot going on at least to start with this might be for you but I couldn't put myself through it I, I could tell by the pace and I wasn't going to enjoy it and I was finding it difficult and the audiobook wasn't great either so I put it down then the third book that I put down this year was The Beach. This is the first kind of like, I don't know if it's counted as a classic but like it's old enough that I'd consider it a classic that I've put down that I've fully DNF'd. I'm not going to pick up, I'm not going to read. Yeah so I tried it. I tried it both physically and audio. I, I understand that it was a different time, it's a different age, some things were okay, some things that we now consider bad were okay but even like little points throughout it grinding my gears like oh no no uh so I've been to a lot of the places that were described in the book or at least for the part that I got to I know that eventually they're trying to find the beach although I have been there as well I've seen it um and for that reason I thought I'd get more enjoyment out of it and the way it was being described I, was, I no um I've stayed in a backpackers hostel in Bangkok. Um, I've been around some of the smaller 
islands and like stayed on them like Koh Samu, Koh Phangan and I've done boat trips out to even smaller islands and I've seen the beach. We went at a time of year where tourists weren't allowed on just to keep the beach preserved but like we saw it from the boat and we like explored around there and it was amazing and the way this book made me feel I was just no no the camera ran out of space and cut me off but I was saying no it wasn't good and that on top of the both on page like explicitly stated racism and how every like marginalized person was talked about in a bad derogatory way I just couldn't I couldn't I, like I've read some classics like I read you know not many but a handful of classics every year and I've not come across one that made me this angry before so yeah it was a very easy put down I, I made it quite far into it I made it I think I was about a quarter of the way through the audiobook when I put it down I just I couldn't it, it wasn't gonna work for me and the very last book that I DNF'd in 2022 was The Hating Game now we'll preface this and saying I DNF really early and I might not have DNF'd this early if I hadn't just before picking this one up read The Spanish Love Deception which you can check out spoiler alert it was one of the books that was on my worst books of the year list I'll link that up there and I just read that book and then I picked up The Hating Game and it was just more of the same and I felt like it was going to be potentially even worse I didn't make it far in I don't think I made it past the second chapter like I think I read chapter one and maybe some of chapter two I don't think I made it further than that so I definitely could have given it more of a chance but I think I'd already figured out by that point that this sort of romance wasn't for me yeah I, I don't even know how to explain it because I feel like all my memories of the hating game is how much it reminded me of the Spanish love deception at the start uh, it, it's an office and en enemies to lovers which obviously is never really enemies to lovers unlikable characters one really 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 big man and one really small 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 girl both of which at least to the I only got two chapters in but both of which to that point had no personality I DNF'd it and that is that so yes there we go those were the four books I ended up DNFing in 2022 I know this was a bit of a shorter video but I basically got to the point where I realized I hadn't included my DNFs in any other video and there was nowhere really appropriate to include them none of my videos really make sense so I just thought I'd make this really super short super short and sweet maybe we'll go with a uh, video just telling you the four books I ended up DNFing in 2022 I'm not a big DNFer I will sometimes put books down as like a not for now sometimes I'm just not vibing with them but I know I will enjoy them at some point but true and proper DNF so four of them in 2022 I'm quite proud of that I'm proud that for at least those four books I managed to see that I shouldn't be reading them that they weren't for me and they weren't going to bring me joy so I DNF them so yeah um that's the end of the video let me know in the comments down below a book that you're happy that you dnf'd in 2022 give the video a like if you liked it subscribe down below if you like to see more content like this and hopefully i'll see you next time bye